you know, early November, we could easily be in the 20s and the 30s. We could have snow on the ground, but that is just not the case as we go through the weekend. Yeah. In fact, it was pretty warm yesterday too. check out yesterday's highs across the region. We got to 69 in Burlington, 70 in St. Johnsbury, more 70s off to the south. But I want to draw your attention to Plattsburgh's number 71 was the high there. That is notable because it was actually the warmest November day since 2015. Then the old record for that was 73 degrees also set on November 6th. Keep in mind, average high this time of year is 50, so about 21 degrees warmer than normal. And if you look at temperatures right now, we're already at 57 in the Lake City. So we're already well above where our average high is for this time of year, 45 in Burlington, a couple 30s out there in places like the Northeast Kingdom and the Connecticut River Valley, also in the Adirondacks. It's all thanks to this big area of high pressure, which is kind of set up shop over the eastern half of the country. And you can actually make out the clockwise flow around this high too. You can kind of see how the clouds are moving. And this is actually producing a pretty cool effect in our region. If you look off towards Maine, the winds from that high pressure system way up in the sky are actually producing some clouds that are really providing a cloudy morning to parts of coastal Maine, but you can see it's totally clear as you look upstream. You can kind of see this happening a little bit in our area too, off the high peaks and maybe some of the southern greens, but that's really the extent of what we're finding here on Storm Tracker. I think it'll be a summer-like weekend, all things considered, because we will be reaching the 70s, and it's dry through early next week as well, so this is a great opportunity to maybe wash your car, take care of some yard work that you may have been putting off, Hey, it's better to do it now than when it's 40 degrees a little bit later in the 10 day. And I'll show you that in just a second. That happens after a cold front comes through here. It drops our temperatures on Wednesday, but on Wednesday itself, we will be hanging on to the above normal temperatures. And uh, until that point, we're in the 70s, so we won't think about that too much for now. Let's try to enjoy the beautiful weekend we have on tap for now. Thinking we get right to the 70 degree mark in the Champlain Valley. Notice a few more clouds in the afternoon, but we're not going to find any rain showers. So most of these even just arrive after the sun sets anyway, so I don't think it'll really be a bother to any of us. As we go into tomorrow morning, it starts off as a mix of sun and clouds, but look at the trend as we go into the rest of the day. I think it totally clears out by the afternoon and when the sun goes down, kind of the opposite of today, it'll be mostly clear. And then going into Monday, it starts off clear, but we're watching this weak little disturbance that starts to come into northern New York in the afternoon. It may increase our clouds a little bit, but I'm still not expecting any rain. In fact, I didn't even bother to put more clouds in the forecast. Tuesday, it gets breezy ahead of that cold front and then Veterans Day on Wednesday is when that front comes through. So expect some showers then and then a very different back half of the forecast with many days in the 40s and 50s and more showers likely at the end of next weekend, Zuri.